All right, so let's go on to page 20, building a strategic referral network. Now what I want you to do is that I want you to think for me, think with me for a moment. I want you to, to picture in your mind the names or faces of every single person who has referred a case to you in this last year. Not some vague notion of, well, I think they came from a referral, but actually picture in your mind the person's name or the person's face that you know for sure that they referred a, a case to you. Think about how many there were, okay? You done that? You got it? How many of you were able to come up with at least one person that referred a case to you this last year? Raise your, keep them up. How many of you were able to come up with two or more, three or more, four or more, five or more, six or more individual people, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, so thank you. The majority of you started putting your hands down at somewhere around three to five, three to six people. Okay, the hands started going down. That's pretty typical. I mentioned earlier that the average attorney has somewhere between three to five referral sources. Would you be interested if I could show you a system that in the next six to nine months, you could add a zero to that number? Anybody interested? Yeah. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Just a couple of you. Of course you are, all right? So what I'm going to do over the next couple, uh, over the next couple minutes is I'm going to share with you two specific ways to do that. Okay, two very different ways to do that. Okay, so put your pencils down just for a minute and I want you to listen to what I have to say and I'm going to give you an example of, where that, of how that happened and then I'm going to come back and I'm going to break it down for you step by step. All right? So I was working with uh, a, an East Coast firm, two-person firm. They primarily did real estate. Uh, some commercial, but mostly residential. You know, and it's a pretty, that's a, tough, that's a tough nut to crack. If any of you have ever done that or know much about that, the margins are pretty thin. It's, you know, there's a lot of competition out there. And just like everybody else, they felt like they were beating their heads against the wall. They've been practicing for, I think they were a law firm, for about 12, 13 years or more. Okay? So they've been doing this a while, and, and if you were to ask the typical real estate attorney where they get their business from, they would most likely say real estate agents and mortgage brokers, right? Well, in this particular circumstance, they hired us because they wanted to be able to build a referral network, a network of strategic referral partners who already have connections with the people that they want to do business with, <laughs> that they want as clients. So what we did was we had them come in and start to identify who would be the best potential referral source for them. And immediately they thought of real estate agents and mortgage brokers. We had them do a little bit more research, dig around a little bit, go a little bit deeper. What we discovered was that it actually wasn't real estate agents or mortgage brokers that were the best source of referrals for them. Instead, inside the mortgage companies, if they're of any size, most mortgage companies have this division called closers. Now, some mortgage companies called them other names and other titles, but that's essentially what they were. Their job was to close the case, put all the pieces together, get all the pieces of the puzzle together, and close the case and bring it through to resolution. Okay? And more often than not, if the real estate agent didn't come in with a specific attorney that they wanted to work with, it was the closer's responsibility to assign a real estate agent to that case. So then what we did was we had him contact half a dozen closers. It just so happened that one of, the agent, or one of the attorneys knew someone who was a closer. And so he uh, asked him to sit down and have lunch with him and interviewed him about what do you hate about working with attorneys? And what kind of characteristics are you looking for from the attorneys that you refer clients to? gathered a whole bunch of information. They went through several different uh, interviews to kind of you know, gather a pretty good perspective. They got a whole lot of different feedback. It comes down to this. They said, here's what we don't like about working with attorneys. Number one, they re never return our phone calls fast enough. Duh, like you've never heard that before, right? Number two, they said, uh, when they do return our phone calls, they make it very difficult for us to schedule the case to schedule you know, the closing. So they'll say, ah, you know, I can't do it this week, or you know, I'm in court this week, or I have to do a 
whatever, a vacation that week, and so we get it bumped off and bumped off. Number three, when they do close, they sit on the paperwork. And see, what a lot of attorneys don't understand is that these mortgage brokers and real estate agents, well, they work on commissions. And they don't get paid until the mortgage company gets paid, and the mortgage company doesn't get paid until the attorney turns in the paperwork. And there's always a gap, there's always a delay. And a lot of these mortgage brokers and real estate agents are living paycheck to paycheck. You know, they need to close this house this week so that they can pay their mortgage next month <laughs> or next week, okay? So they're very tight on that. And so they begin to, uh, to understand and formulate a unique competitive advantage, which we'll deal with later on. A unique competitive advantage says, why should you hire me versus any of my other competitors? Because as you know, you, are, you have competitors. And some of them are very sophisticated. They're very sharp when it comes to marketing and getting the name out there. So what makes you different? Why are you different from anybody else? So we worked with them, we coached them through the process of how to create a unique competitive advantage for them. Here's what they came up with. The first thing is we will return every single phone call that you make to us within the same day, most of the time within two hours after you leave a voicemail. Okay. Next thing, we will close anywhere, anytime, any place for no additional fee. We'll close Saturday morning, we'll close Sunday afternoon, we will make it easy for you and your clients to come to the closing. Number three, when we close, we will FedEx the paperwork to you overnight so that the day after you close, you get the paperwork, which means you get paid faster, the mortgage broker gets paid faster, and the real estate agent gets paid faster. Now you say, Stephen, this doesn't sound like rocket science, this is pretty straightforward, right? Well, guess what? Then we had them collect a database, build a database of all these brokers, okay, all these closers in the mortgage companies. And we had them start calling to set up meetings to help understand uh, what they do. And I'll show you how to do that in just a minute. So they attended some of these meetings. And the meeting was simply, you know, here's who, here's who I serve and here's what's different about me. Here's what's different about the way that we treat our referral sources. You are at the top priority. And they went through and they explained what these unique competitive advantages were. You say, this isn't rock and science, but you know what, the closers, they said, we've never had an attorney talk like this before. It's almost like you understand what we're going through. You understand our challenges in dealing with the legal profession and why we don't like a lot of the attorneys that we refer to right now. One of the closers stopped them in the middle of the meeting, got up, walked them across the hallway, opened the door, and there was a whole division of closers in there on the phone and doing the paperwork and everything like that. Just so happened that this guy was the manager of that division. Snapped his fingers, brought everybody to attention, had them gather over and gave the attorneys uh, 10 minutes of uninterrupted time to talk about what makes their law firm different from all of their other competitors. They got over 30 referrals just from that one meeting alone. In the next three months, they went on to meet with several different companies, with several different people in the closers division of different mortgage companies. They tripled their business.